Hello viewers, I welcome back again to Gazette Snail Farm. We are teaching you what you need to know and what you need to do to be very, very successful in snail farming business. So I try out to what is working in my snail farm. I come and share the knowledge so that you also follow the same, same process so that you achieve results in your own snail farm. So today, I'm actually going to be talking about uh, how or what you need to do once you start seeing that your snails are dying. Most snail farmers are complaining my snakes are dying, my snakes are dying. What actually do I need to do? What do I need to do once I see that my snakes are dying? So in this video, I'm actually going to be sharing with you the various things that you need to do once you start noticing mortality or once you start seeing that your snakes are dying. The various things that you need to take, the various steps that you need to take to make sure that you do not lose as much snakes as possible in your snake family. Business. But before we start, before we go straight to this video, I want to know if this is your first time of visiting my channel. If you are coming across my channel for the first time, I want to say a very big welcome to you. Thank you for visiting this channel. But do me a favor, click on that subscribe button below the video and smash on the bell notification icon so that whenever there is an awesome video, you are going to be among the first set of person that will be notified. And also, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Welcome back again. I appreciate you for coming again and I do not take it for granted. So, to continue and that the first thing you are supposed to do once you start noticing mortality in your snare farm or once you start seeing that your snares are dying gradually gradually the next thing you need to do is to do what vacuate the snares yes the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you remove all the snares from that pen or from that snare house remove all of them and do what keep them in a separate pen once you have been able to remove all this, now this is actually applicable uh, for those that are actually using the concrete pen and not mostly for those that are using the greenhouse. So once you started seeing that your snakes are dying, once you started noticing mortality, the first thing you need to do as fast as possible is to remove all the snakes from that particular pen and do what? Keep them in a separate pen or use a bowel, put all of them in a bowel. Or use a bucket, whatever one you can use, a bag, keep them in a separate bag. Then, once you have removed all of them from that particular pen, then the next thing you need to do is to remove all the munching that is on those pens. No matter, depending on the number of pens that you are noticing the uh, mortality or the pen, particularly. So, remove all the munching that are there. After you must have removed all the munching material that are there. If they are old enough, dispose them. Don't introduce it back to your pen. When you must have finished carrying other steps that I'm going to be telling you. So, is that you dispose them, or you expose them to a, the sun? You expose them to the sun that with high temperature. Is that the second step you need to take? Then the third step you need to take is to evacuate the soil. Remove the soil from that pen and do what also expose it to a high temperature sunlight. Scatter it around, expose it to a high temperature sunlight, and then do a thorough clean up on those particular pens or the pen where mortality is actually setting in. Once you must have finished doing a thorough clean up, and remember you have actually exposed the soil to a high temperature of the sun. We have also exposed the moon which you are likely not to introduce back. Then the next thing you need to do is to give those snares what we call the snare casual bat. Yes, in this channel, I have talked about how to give your snare um, casual bat. You can search it how to give your snare casual how to give your snare casual bat, and it will show up. So once we are done giving them the casual bat. Okay, for the benefit of those that have not been able to watch, I will give a brief illustration on how to give them the casual bat. All you need to do is to get a bowl, a pocket, or whatever big surface, depending on the number or the quantity of the snakes. Wash them. After you must have washed them with uh, clean water for the first time, you will transfer them again and throw away that water. Then Put another water, depending on the quantity of the snares in that particular bowl. If the snares are about um, 
let's say 100 you can do it in batches depending except if the bowel you are using can accommodate this hundredness i know a lot of persons have 400 snares 500 snares but it is better to do the needful than leaving to do it needful and your snares die off because some persons will be like how can i do casual bath for a snares of 500 pieces 200 pieces 300 pieces this will not take you more than three hours to do so you need to put in the work to make sure that you stop that mortality after all prevention is better than cure so you must put in the required work. So going back to our um, cashew bat, you put, you get a bowel, add water depending on the number of snakes you have. But the water should not be too much. It should not be too much. Just a normal water. Get small water. If the snakes are too much or the what you are using is not that big, do it in patches. If it's 10, 10. If it's 20, 20. If it's 50, 50 that you can do, good and fine. But once you get a reasonable water inside the bowel, not too big, add your calcium inside it. Add your snare calcium inside that water. If you have ginger, you get your ginger, you pan your ginger or grandy, whichever one, put it inside that water. Put it inside that water with uh, the calcium that you have already missed and allow it to settle for like two minutes or one minute pour this nest inside mesh them together mesh them together allow it to settle for like one minute after that one minute remove that batch of this nest put in another separate batch then repeat the process to those one that you have not actually done carry out this simple process to all of them that is how to give your snake cajon bat for a clearer understanding of this cajon bat the video is on this channel just type how to give your snake cajon bat to come out and you watch it again and see a clearer um, illustration of how I did my own. I showed you how I gave my own cajon bat so you will see it. So after you must have given your snake cajon bat, then the next thing you need to do, remember the soil must have been exposed to a high temperature of the sun. Or uh, if um, you can go through the um, Whichever way you want to, but I think exposing it should be the best for you. Then you do what you now bring it back to the pen. Bring it back to the pen. Add a fresh mulching material. Once you have added a fresh mulching material, then water it, water the pen, the soil, and that mulching material together before you introduce the pen. Sorry, before you introduce this nest back to the pen so once you have been able to do this you will find out that it will go a long way to help in what this is it will even stop the death of those men if for adventure there is any snare that is actually that has been affected and is at the rate of dying or at the edge of dying and sick or there are bad this process that we have done will actually take care of that sickness it will actually take care of uh, whatever that is wrong with those particular set of snares. Then, after you must have done that, the next thing you need to do is to check your pen very carefully. Take your pen closely to know if there is actually a place that the snare enemy is penetrating from. And then close it properly. You can also get engineer if you can, if it's within your reach, get a condemned engineer. Take it and go round the pen. Use it and pour. Not too much. Just pour small, small. Not pouring necessary that the place will not be um, an eyesore or will not be irritating. No, no, no. Just small. Pour it round those pen. Pour it round those pen. After you must have pour that condom oil round those pen, then you are going to go. I bet you, if you do this, next three or four months, you will not expect experience any mortality or in the death of any snare except you did this and you are not feeding them right or the environment is not conducive for them these are the only two things that will also make you to start experiencing it within a short period of time but if actually after you must have carried the process now that are these tests that i have shown you that i have explained to you and the environment is well okay for them that is why i told you that you must 
take your time and clean up the place once it is okay even it will go before you experience the death of a smell in that your pen it will be very difficult so this is the process i'm telling you what i have do in my farm what i have tested and i know it's working and as a matter of fact you can also be repeating this process at an interval from month to month you can count like maybe after five months after they are apart you can repeat the process of that casual belt after like what five months again or they're apart you can also repeat the process of that casual belt it goes a long way to make sure that your snail don't keep dying your snail don't keep dying except you're not feeding them well you're not giving them casual you are not um the environment is not well clean you don't always clean the environment it's like the only thing that always and bring about mortality, bring about the death of snakes. But if you are doing the right thing, I bet it will be very difficult for you to be encountering mortality all the time. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I hardly encounter mortality in my farm. It's not as if I don't get, but at least before I experience a de the death of a snake, is moot, moot. And that is very, very understandable that someone, unlike someone who is recording death of snake every day, every day, some days they will pick like three, five, ten, depending on the capacity of the farm. So this is the very exact step that you need to take. And it will actually go a long way to take care of uh, the death of your snare and uh, that of mortality in your snare farm so thank you once again for watching and remember if you have not subscribed to this channel do so by clicking on the subscribe button below this video now and smash on the bell notification icon so that whenever i release an awesome video again you are going to be notified and also remember that we have a telegram group we are snare farmers gather together we discuss together we share ideas and then you pass challenges you bring your challenges we tackle it together or is to make sure that you become successful in snare farming business. So if you have not joined that group and you want to join, the link to that group is in the description of this video. Use it to join the group and we'll be happy to have you there. Thanks once again for watching. See you in our next video. Bye for now.